Welcome everyone to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a really cool dependency called Scratcher, which helps us in implementing scratch cards in Flutter. And I also want to demonstrate the usage of Stateful Builder widget. So if you ever feel that your downloads are too low, just implement this dependency in the right way and you shall see the difference. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started. Take a look at popspec.yaml. So here I have provided the necessary dependency and along with that I have also mentioned this asset which is nothing but a black and white diamond image. Now inside of the main.dart I have imported the scratcher file and inside of the build method we have material app and scaffold. Now for the body of this scaffold I will write app body. App body would be a stateless widget. What I plan on doing is that I'll have a single button at the center of the screen and when you click on it, an alert dialog will pop up and it will contain the scratch card. So I'm going to start off by giving some alignment to this container and set its alignment to alignment.center. Then for the child, I'll write flat button, give it a symmetric padding of 20 vertically and 35 horizontally. Then I'll set its shape to outline input border and set the border radius to 35 and border side to border side dot none and for the color I'll write color colors dot blue now for the child we'll need a text say get a scratch card for the style I'll write text style color colors dot white set the font weight to font weight dot bold and set the font size to 25 moving on for the on pressed I'll write scratch card dialog and pass in the context then just over here, I'll create a function called scratch card dialog, which accepts a context and it will return a show dialog. Now show dialog is a function of type future. So it will be more informative if we specify the return type of this method, which is going to be future void. So the show dialog method takes a context. Here we'll pass the context which we received. And then it takes a builder, which returns with a context of its own. Now we'll finally return alert dialog. Give it a shape using the rounded rectangle border and set its border radius to border radius dot circular 30. For the title, I'll pass in a text widget and write you've won a scratch card. And then I'll simply give it some style. Moving on to the content parameter. This is the content of your alert dialog. So I'll pass in the widget that we've been waiting for which is the scratcher widget. This is what basically defines a scratchable rectangle. Now it has several parameters such as accuracy, threshold, brush size, on change, on threshold and so on. The first thing that I'll target is going to be accuracy. This basically defines how accurate every drag has to be. I'm just going to use the scratch accuracy enum and set it to low. Then set the brush size to 50 and that's about it. Now I'm just going to provide a widget for the child. So I'll write container and I'll set its height and width to 300, 300. Set the alignment to alignment.center and just paste this text widget as a child for the container. So every time you scratch, you win $200. By default, the color of the scratch card is black. So if you wanted to change that, you can simply pass the desired color in here and reload the app. But in some cases, even colors are not enough. Fortunately, this dependency allows us to show an image instead of a simple color using image path. And you can use this image fit to define how your image should be inscribed in a box. So for image, I'll write assets slash diamondbw.png. And there we go. Our scratch card looks much more attractive. Now. There is also a possibility that you might want to build up some suspense before revealing the price or disappointment to your users. And in order to do that, we can define a threshold limit, which means that we can specify an upper limit up to which the user would have to scratch the card. And as soon as the upper limit is crossed, we trigger some action. I'm going to start off by defining a threshold by writing threshold and setting it to 25. And then to trigger the action upon crossing the threshold, I'll write on threshold leave it empty. All we want to do here is fade in the price amount as soon as the threshold is crossed. So at the top of this class, 
I'll write double opacity and set it to zero. Now I'll wrap this container with another widget called animated opacity and provide it with a duration. So I'll set its duration to 250 milliseconds and opacity to opacity. Great, but this won't work because we have not defined a way via which we could rebuild this widget. Now ideally, we would make this app body widget as a stateful widget and then place the scratch card dialog method inside of the build method and then finally set the value of opacity to 1 and call a set state method inside of the on threshold callback. Well, we'll do the same thing but just a little differently. The app body widget over here is a stateless widget and you want to keep it that way. We don't want to build that entire widget just for a simple animation. In that case, we can simply wrap this scratcher widget with another widget called Stateful Builder. Stateful Builder allows you to change the state of a widget by redrawing it without redrawing the entire widget tree, thus improving the performance. So we need to make use of a builder parameter which returns with the context and another parameter of type state setter. Then this builder would return a scratcher widget. So now we are going to be able to call a set state method instead of the on threshold callback. So I'll do that and then I'll simply set the value of opacity to 1. Alright, let's check it out. So I've launched the app and now I'm going to tap on this button. And there we go, the dialog box pops up and now when I start scratching it, notice as I reach the center how the text slowly fades in. Great. Now, since we have not introduced any method via which this animation could be reversed, therefore I'll simply hot restart the app again and again. Everything works fine, but there's just one little problem, which is that for some reason the on threshold callback is triggered much later after I cross the threshold mark. Maybe that's because the scratch card is being rendered inside of an alert box and there are some problem with proportions and stuff. But still, it's quite strange. For example, I'm going to set the threshold to 75 and restart the app. Then I'll tap the button and now I'll start scratching. Notice that after a while I scratched 100% of the visible area, but the required text does not appear. But it does appear after I keep doing it for a while. Although I know that the widget works fine, it's just behaving strangely after I put it inside of an alert box. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, then check out some more videos on the channel and subscribe to receive more awesome content. Also, make sure to hit that bell icon to uh, receive more awesome content at the earliest. The code for this video is linked in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.